Hi there, it's Andrew Johnson coming to you from Niagara Falls, Ontario, the romance and suicide capital of the world. Not like romance capital of the world, that's probably Paris. And not like suicide capital of the world, that's probably somewhere in Sweden. But the romance and suicide together capital of the world. Also the haunted house capital of the world. Do you know how many, you know how many fucking haunted houses I just saw? Like wa walking here on one block? One, two, three, four, and this is next door. Next door to the last one. That is four fucking haunted houses. Anyway, why am I talking to myself walking around uh, looking like a crazy person in Niagara Falls? Because that underlines my feelings about religion, which is this week's topic on queer comics. And so I'm gonna move, I'm gonna, enough location shooting now, okay? I'm gonna move back inside and, and talk this one out. Well, that's more like it, slash, that's less like it. I'm back in my shitty hotel room in Niagara Falls, hence this picture of the falls. See, they just, they, they constantly remind you. This week's topic on queer comics, religion. Here's what I think about religion. I liken it to bowel movements. Necessary, but private. It should be private. I don't want to hear them happening. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about how yours compare to mine. I just don't want to talk about it. I think it should be private. What is my religion? I'll never tell. R.I.P. Brittany Murphy. Because I don't think it's something that should be discussed. I think that there should be some sort of, you know, if you have some principles, some divine principles, if you will, I think that you should just lead by example uh, and not impose them on anyone else and not talk about them. I So I was christened, I was christened, if you can believe it, in the United Church and growing up, all I can ever remember, I never remember as part of the dialogue in the United Church of Canada, uh, anything about thou shall not. I never, like maybe thou shall not murder, thou shall not rape children, that sort of a thing. In the United Church, we were never, there was never anything about thou shall judge other people. It was just love and rainbows and do one to others as you would yourself. And so that's where I come from with religion. That said, I, I, it makes me uncomfortable when people talk about it. There, there's, there's shit that just makes no sense to me, like Catholicism. Like, I look at Catholicism. Have, has anyone seen the Oscar award-winning movie Spotlight? Institutionalized child sexual assault. Any other corporation that was doing this, if like Mountain Dew was Mountain Dewing that, within their ranks, Mountain Dew executives were sexually assaulting children and then it was covered up and they were they were placed at other Mountain Dew factories or wherever. Well, I guess mountains is where Mountain Dew would be made. If they were placed somewhere else, there would be a class action lawsuit and that everyone would be arrested and they'd be thrown in jail. How is the Vatican still a thing? Like how is Catholicism still a thing? How does it have any merit or anything? It blows my mind. Or like something like BAP, BAPT, not baptism, Southern Baptists, stuff like that. Like it just, it strikes me like that entire religion or born again Christians, whatever, and how they hate gays. They hate like this, they hate this, except if you repent and you, you know, will deny essential parts of your being. It strikes me that all of that religion is just based around uh, a scapegoating, like, sca like saying like, all right, we've done things, but now we're saved. Now we repent. We need someone to say about you or not. Like it just, it's looking for a scapegoat. I think that that's bullshit. So ultimately I do think that religion should be private. I think that you can practice. I mean, you don't know what I, you don't know my views and I won't tell you because I am practicing what I preach, which is a great catchphrase for this. And I'm keeping it to myself because I think that that is what religion should be. And um, and you'll notice that I did not say anything about uh, Islam or uh, the prophet or anything like that because um, I would like to not be killed. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this week. And thanks.